Okay, tubers, a uh, little bit of an update, I guess, some rant. Rant, I'll put rant up the top here somewhere. Um, I've just had somebody yesterday, after my video that I put up about giving me my wife money so I can play, somebody gave my wife some money. And they come with some conditions, terms and conditions, I would like to say. And what they wanted to see, and a lot of people have already said this, but they put their money where their mouth was. And they put $100 into my wife's PayPal account. So, this is what's happening. That cell there is going to be pulled down and individually test each cell and work out exactly why in the white balance is playing silly buggers because my fingers is moving. Um, work out exactly what's going wrong with that cell there. And he wants to see terminal connections along the bottom. So we're going to go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to draw the, the current through each pack. I don't like the look of it. I don't, I think it will work better, but I don't like the look out of it. But I have got something to combat that. Now, in between, because this is laser cut, in between each one of these is exactly two centimeters. So, I know with a great deal of faith that I can do something cool. So it's going to be positive here, negative, negative, and then it's going to go back up to the positive up here, positive, pos uh, pos uh, negative, positive, and then back down to here and so on and so forth. Right, back to the shed. Okay, through the powers of editing, I am back in my workshop with some new toys. Right, let's see if I can make this look some sort of professional. Right, I have a paid invoice. We'll do some cool effects on that. Right, it was $88.07, which is hugely expensive, but you get that. And that friggin' noise beeping. <laughs> Someone's going to think it's a sound effect. Okay, so I got two different things. So where's my finger? My finger. Where's my... There. There's my finger. Okay. Uh, I got a cutoff of two, uh, so 20 centimeters by 90 centimeters. So that's that bit of copper there. Nice big piece of copper. Now it is 0.5 of... Oh, uh, where is my finger again? Jeez, I hate this. How unprofessional is this? Uh, there we go. 0.55 of a millimeter thick. So my old stuff was point. Where's the camera? There, there. It's, I've got, okay. It's really thin. Like less. Mm, probably. I don't know. I don't know. But that's thin and it's flimsy. I reckon this is at least three times thicker. Impossible to see. But it is not annealed, which means it's nice and rigid. It's not like this and and it, it very very easily bent. So. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I need to cut 8mm wide. I think I'm going to find somebody with a shear. The engineer could do it, but he's busy at the moment. So if anybody out there has a shear that can cut this at 0.8 of a millimeter uh, wide all the way across, I would appreciate your help. And if you're local and you can do it cheaply and today, that'd be great. Um, today being whenever this video uploads. So that piece of copper there was 51 bucks. Ouchie mama, I'd much rather my recycled copper up there. But anyway, I don't have enough of that recycled copper left to actually do what I want to do. And it's not strong enough, so this is going to be the next thing. Okay, we've also got $29.06 for this lump of steel. This lump of steel is... I don't know. I don't know inches. So it's one inch by half inch. So I guess that's one inch by half inch. Somebody that's good at maths can work that out, but it There's the bus bar saga coming back to bite us in the ass again There's the camera again So that sits on there like that so that's the same length so that the bus bar saga was half an inch thick So the plan right old bus bars and left hand holding camera the plan is that this is going to go between there and then drill a hole through the center of it all the way and oh, I can't point with that finger that's stupid so drill a hole through there through the center in through the center of that and then join it to the bus bar on the other side so it's going to make and of course that's going to be cut two centimeters long which is that two centimeter that was laser cut with the thing with the mount 
So that's going to be a nice chunky bit in between there and there. Attached to some nice thick steel, attached to the top and bottom of the actual bank, and we'll be good to go. Now with this also, because it's such a chunky piece of chunky piece of copper, should slow down. Some people have said I talk too fast, but that's fine. It's my channel. Bugger off. I'm Aussie. Shit. Crap. Damn. Bloody drop bears. I'm going to tap and drill a hole in the side of that bus bar at the back of it so that'll be looking towards that'll be how it looks so i'll hide it uh, around the back of it so i can attach um the bms hardware to the back and you can't see it so it maintains a little bit of um looking good i guess because that's the whole ethos of what i want to do i want it to look good and function right okay right so that's that have a shot of my feet walking around. Heat are keeping me warm. Mm, warmth. Right. This is my bin. This bin contains, well, nothing. I've got no processed cells left. I've only got that many left to process. Of course, I've got hundreds of batteries down there, but I haven't got any processed cells, so I'm going to finish up these ones. These ones should all get out of the road today, and then I can start doing that 80 cell pack and working out exactly where the faults are with that. So to the person who wants to remain anonymous that put $100 into my wife's account, made my wife happy and made me very, very happy, have a good one, YouTube, and I'll see you on the next one.